Joe Fleming, a man that needs no introduction. He's here to talk about the Republicans. Broke down the Democrats over on WPRI at 630. Now to the Trump train and everything that seems to be rolling down the tracks once again. Looked like it was sort of getting off track, Joe, yes. a couple of weeks ago. Then he goes home to New York and a big win. Yes, no question. After Wisconsin, it looked like he was going to have a little bit of a problem. In New York, the big question was, could Donald Trump get the 50 percent? He busted right through that. He got it to 60 percent. He's capturing almost every delegate in the state of New York, which is what he needed. Now he's down to needing just 58% of the remaining delegates to clinch the nomination on the first ballot. Which it looks like all signs are that he will be able to do that. Now we're hearing calls from guys like Mitt Romney for either John Kasich or Ted Cruz to get Correct. out of the race to help get some of those votes piled up against Trump because it's, they're hurting each other. There's no question about that. I mean, next week, Trump's going into five northeast uh, states. He's probably going to do very well there again. The train's going to be really rolling. So if you want to stop Trump, two people running against him is not going to work. You have to get the numbers down. All right, let's talk about those two other candidates. Ted Cruz seems to, I don't know, it seems to be fading a little bit here. I know New York was not a place right. where he expected to win, and Kasich did better than right. Cruz did in New York. What happens next for Cruz? Well, next week's not good for Ted Cruz right. either. He's not going to do very well in the five states that are coming, coming up next week. He's looking to May 3rd, Indiana. He really has to basically win Indiana to stop Donald Trump. If he loses it, Indiana, I think Donald Trump's going to move right on to the nomination. What about Kasich? I mean, this guy seems like he's barely hanging on. He's barely hanging on. He is going for the open convention. So is Ted Cruz at this point. Neither one of them has enough delegates to win on the first ballot. They're both trying to deny Donald Trump the nomination on the first ballot, believing they would have a chance if they get it to an open convention. So that's why he's staying in the race. You have the Republican Party, and it's almost like Donald Trump is a Republican, but really is an independent, because he's sort of out on his own program, out on a limb. No one really wants to embrace him in the Republican Party. This is getting really strange as we get closer to the It is to getting convention. strange. I think the Republicans have to come together very soon and embrace Donald Trump if he's going to be the nominee. If they keep fighting with Donald Trump, it's going to really make it easy for the Democrats to win the election come November. So they have to unite and unite quickly. Their convention in July, it's not that far away. And if they don't get behind that candidate soon, they're going to have a lot of problems. So finally, we know that Hillary Clinton and John Kasich are right. coming to Rhode Island to campaign. Do you Correct. expect any other candidates to come in before the primary? I would not be surprising Donald Trump stop in for a quick one-hour tour um, speaking rally. Uh, it's possible. I think Bernie Sanders, again, this is a state Bernie probably believes he has a shot in. He's done very well in all the New England states. He feels probably Rhode Island, Connecticut are his two best shots for this coming weekend, um, next week. So I wouldn't be surprised seeing a lot more candidates come in. All right, great effort, as always, by Joe. He was in here last night. Quick turnaround for Joe. A lot of coffee for him this morning. Joining us here this morning. Thank you, Joe. We'll see you My again pleasure. soon. Uh, for information, just go to our website, WPRI.com.